Hey guys, so this is here the uh, JBL Tune 750 BTNC wireless headphones and today we are going to take a look inside of these headphones. So this is here the uh, teardown video and uh, we're going to start out with the uh, left side of the headphones. So first we're going to take off here the ear pads. I'm going to show you how this is done. This is really easy. Uh, you just take like a pocket knife here and you can slide this into this little gap right in between the uh, ear cups and the uh, ear pad. So here between the plastic and this uh, fake leather. If you do this really carefully then you don't even ruin them while you do this and then you just pry them open. So uh, as you see here this is now a little bit bigger of a gap and then you can just pop off the ear pad. And you see uh, how this is held in place. And uh, now the insides here, I already took off three little uh, Phillips screws. And now we can remove here this cover that includes the uh, transducer. And we can take a look inside, but we have to be really careful because there is here this cable here going to this microphone here for the active noise cancellation. We don't want to rip that off by accident. So I'm just going to turn the transducer with this cover here to the side so we can take a look here. You see here this entire plastic piece, that's just one piece and that's all we can see. Uh, we can't go any deeper because it's just all one plastic piece. There's nothing more to remove. So now we're going to access this here from the other end. There you can see here this uh, where the JBL logo is on. That's actually just a cover, plastic cover and we can pry this open so that we can take a look at the inside here and as you can see here I am opening this here from the top end of the uh, ear cup so you have to open it from the top at the bottom that's not gonna work uh, so eventually you can see here this cover that I just took off you see this big nose is here on the bottom it's also going to hold in this cover here so that's why you have to open it from the top and now uh, what is in the left ear cup here that's you can see here is mostly here just the battery see here this is the uh, battery that powers the entire headphones and it's connected to this little pcb with uh, actually a connector which is really neat so if you want to replace the battery then this will be really easy because you don't have to do any soldering work you just uh, unplug this here and uh, get a new battery and plug the new battery in and you can then easily replace this you can also see here the wiring coming coming into this ear cup from the right side and that's pretty much it here so let's remove the battery let's see if there's anything underneath but there actually is nothing else here underneath there so uh, we can just uh, go now to the right ear cup and see what's inside of there so here I also remove the uh, ear pad first it's the same procedure as for the left earpiece so I'm going to fast forward this here and let's take a look here also here again the wire going across over the transducer for the microphone for active noise cancellation and you can see here the three uh, Phillips screws so let me remove those really quick and then uh, I'm using here my pocket knife to uh, Detach the cover here that has the uh, transducer in it. Again, I'm really careful to uh, not to um, damage the wiring here. And here, let's take a look at the back side. So you see here how thin this transducer looks like. And you can also see here these uh, two contacts on the uh, PCB and those get uh, connected with the, uh, these little springs that you see there in the uh, ear cup itself. Now also the right side has here this cover from the outside see that you can uh, pry open. I'm doing this just like I did on the left side. So we can take a look inside of this here. There should be a lot more going on since this is the side with all the buttons and the uh, charging port and the LEDs. So the cover looks exactly the same and then you see here this PCB is a lot bigger. Let me uh, show you this up close so you can have a detailed look here. A 
let me also zoom into the uh, area here where the uh, wiring goes to the opposite side. You can see here how many leads are going through there. It's quite a few here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or eight. And then the wire going to the front of the transducer, the white one. And now let me try to pry out the PCB here so we can take a look at the back side. And we have to be careful here also so that we don't accidentally rip off any of the wirings here. So also here on the right side here we have this black and red. That's going to the to another microphone that is used for the uh, phone calls. So I'm going to detach this little strip and now we can extend the wire a little bit so we can uh, take a nice look on the back side. You see here this is the hole where the microphone is built into. That's where those two wires go. Then here you can also see again here these two springs that uh, establish the connection to the uh, transducer on the other side here. And now here we have the uh, inside of the PCB, the opposite side. Let me zoom on that here a little bit so you can take a nice and detailed look. On the top you see here the uh, micro USB charging port and then on the right side in blue here that's the uh, headphone jack. And there's also a couple of uh, switches there and also you can see here the LEDs. There's a total of four LEDs here. There's a white and a blue one here right next to each other. That's for the power switch. And then to the right of it already in blue, that's the uh, oh, the active noise cancellation. No, it's actually a white one. It's a white LED. It's the active noise cancellation. So you press that button, then you turn off A and C. And that also disables the uh, LED there. And then here in the blinking blue, that's the uh, uh, means that the headphones right now are in pairing mode. That's why it's blinking in blue. And then on the opposite side of the board, that's where we have here the uh, charging port. And if we connect the micro USB cable here, then you see when the battery is charging, then the, there is here the red LED lighting up. Yeah, okay, so this is already it here, the teardown of the JBL Tune 750 BTNC. Hope this video was helpful. If you, if you have any more questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to check out my other videos.